This podcast was recorded on the 11th of October 2017 and is designed to be played in August 2020, just as the UK construction and demolition industries once again reconsider the future of the Construction Industry Training Board. As I'm recording this three years in advance, I've had to make a few assumptions. I've assumed that the Earth is not now a dystopian wasteland because the spat between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un escalated into a full-scale thermonuclear war. I'm assuming that we have not all been replaced, willingly or otherwise, by robots. And I'm assuming that nothing has happened to overcome the boom and bust cycle of the construction and demolition demand. So with those caveats in place, Here's why I'm recording this almost three years in advance. At the time of recording, the combined construction and demolition industries have just voted to grant the CITB a mandate to continue to charge its levy. Although the vote was nowhere near as close as many had hoped, the industry, and in particular the trade associations allied to the CITB, hardly gave the organisation a ringing endorsement. In fact, in order to get across the line and retain its position, the CITB has had to make some pretty ambitious promises. Personally, I've heard all this before. The CITB's mandate is discussed and questioned on a regular basis, and, just as all seems lost, it makes a bunch of assurances that allow it to continue for another three years. This time, in October 2017, was no different. But by the time we all get to look again at the CITB in 2020, things may be a little different. And the HS2 project will be the acid test. According to estimates, HS2 will create almost 30,000 jobs by 2020, and the CITB will be responsible for training a good many of them. If you're a levy-paying member of the industry, you'll be able to see clearly whether the CITB has delivered on its promises. We'll be right back after this. By the time the 2020 census rolls around, the industry will also have had an opportunity to look more deeply at the role of its various trade associations in the maintaining of the CITB's mandate. Organisations such as Build UK, the Construction Plant Hire Association, the National Federation of Builders and the National Federation of Demolition Contractors have all just given the CITB their backing on the proviso that changes are made. And well they might. The National Demolition Training Group, the training arm of the National Federation of Demolition Contractors, receives grant funding from the CITB and they are obviously keen that that grant funding continues. But let's not lose sight of precisely where that money comes from. The grant funding doesn't come out of the CITB's pocket. It does not come from down the back of the CITB's sofa. That money is collected in the form of a levy upon demolition and construction companies that may or may not be entirely happy with the performance of the CITB or with what they get in return for what amounts to a stealth tax. Before the 2020 census allows the wider industry with another opportunity to voice its opinion on the CITB, Individual companies need to ensure that their trade associations are actually voting in the same way as their memberships. Thanks for listening.